Welcome to the Greenhouse Art Empowerment Center in Olambe, Ogun State. The Greenhouse Art Empowerment Center is situated at the suburb of Lagos State and Ogun State. The center was declared open to the public on December 22nd, 2012, but established 2009. And it was declared open by His Excellency, the Governor of Ogun State, uh, Governor Ibikunle Amusan. The Greenhouse Art Empowerment Center has as its primary mission a purpose of being there to promote Nigerian art and artists. At the Greenhouse Art Empowerment Center, it is a four floor building that has the, art, the arts on various floors and the section B, which is the training sections and offices. In the section A, starting from the public gallery, where we do host exhibitions from time to time. In the ground floor, which is the public gallery, we have works of art of various medium. We have mixed media techniques, we have paintings, we have general paintings, we have prints. So we have works of art by Evelyn Osage, we have Juliet Ezenwa Pierce, Ogunwo here. This leads us to the second floor. On the second floor, we have the, the private gallery, which hosts several numerous works from renowned Nigerian artists and also some promising Nigerian artists. We are in the second floor of Greenhouse Art Empowerment Center. This is the private collections of Greenhouse. Works on this floor are not for sale. Here we have works, Mr. Bolaji Ogunwo, Dudu Emmanuel, Isaac John, Stella Obigo. Here is one installation we did at the greenhouse. It was a palm installation, beaded palm installation as a chandelier. That's the second one. Well, a lot of Nigerian famous artists are part of us in the house. And uh, various artists on this floor, we have also works that attempt to be spiritual works. They are also here. So we go to the, the third floor. The third and the last floor, the fourth floor, where we have the Art Educational Museum that encompasses both the Abang Kalaba uh, traditional attire of an Abang dancer. So we now look at the Northern State, which is the part three. There we have the Hausa Kingdom, how a typical emir or an Hausa king dresses, the Sultan. And then we look at the various festivals in the Northern area, that is particularly the Agungu Festival, we also highlighted areas like the Nok art, the Soede art, and also the Nupi art. A glance at Nigerian art history. And in the second section, which I talked earlier of the training section, we have two floor classrooms, which serves as conference rooms sometimes, and the teaching room where we do teach people arts and craft skills. And for the various programs we've had in the arts sector, or the art section, our visual art empowerment program. Under the exhibition, we've hosted several solo exhibitions from Princess Teresa Yaseodozi and other artists. And the last, in 2015-16, we had Nigerian Visual, it's a group exhibition titled The Nigerian Visual Artist and Nigerian Politics. Here we had 12 Nigerian artists with the lead artist as Professor Bruce Onobrakweya, who was also the key note speaker. He presented a paper and this program was in, his com it was in commemoration of his 83rd birthday celebration. In the center we've had so many programs, art exhibitions, like earlier said, we had children empowerment programs which were targeted at hosting children on the various children day, like we have the May Day celebration, where we host and welcome the children of the community who are, some are really less privileged. In the Youth Empowerment Program, we've had programs like generator workshop, uh, repair workshop, where we had to groom several children of the Olambe community, teaching them these various skills and looking at it in terms of the artistic value and entrepreneurial skills they could 
achieve from these uh, skills. And we also had the Women Empowerment Program, which has been a major area of the Greenhouse Center, because it has been stated that when you train a woman, you train a nation. The women have been the most vulnerable in all societies, particularly in Africa. We've had the hair weaving workshop. We've had workshops like the bead making, the gilly headgear tying. We've also had tie and dye and bead making. And to complement that, we have also over years seen that it is very important to teach these women how to read and write. So we have a program, we have a program called Iwekiko. Iwekiko has also been a major uh, program teaching people how to read and write. And then we've had the various art teachers conference. This is a program where we've hosted several academias into this center. We've hosted Dr. Kunle Filani, uh, the former provost of uh, Abelkuta Federal College of Education, Abelkuta. We've hosted Dr. Aziz, the Federal College of Education lecturer also. Dr. Mabel Awogbade. We've hosted Dr. Mabel Awogbade also, who have come here to talk to several teachers, our teachers in the immediate community or host community. And we've also hosted uh, Dr. Pejulai Wola have been in the house before. As one of our set out major goals or objective is actually welcoming tourists, visitors into our center. Thank you very much.